Hey guys, how you going? This is Billy Eight World again. Thanks for stopping by and just remember, if you like what you see, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, feel free to take a look at some of my other Battlefield videos if you like. You can find them all in a playlist in the description down below. But anyway, to get started, well, as you know, Battlefield 1 is just around the corner, and as we saw in the trailer, it looks like air combat is going to be a key feature. And I've got to say, this is probably the thing I'm most looking forward to because I'm a massive fan of the aircraft from this period. In fact, one of my favourite games of all time is a game called Red Baron 3D that came out way back in the late 90s. So, needless to say, I'm super keen to get back in the cockpit and start dogfighting again in Battlefield 1. So, with that being said, what I thought I'd do for you guys today for something different is run through the top five fighter aces of World War I. But what does ace actually mean? Well, basically, it was an unofficial title given to pilots who racked up more than five air kills. The term is actually still used today, but the reason World War I was the golden age of the fighter ace is because at the time, pilots were seen as the knights of the sky. And like in medieval times, aces would duel to the death for the honour of their squadron and their country. And the very best of these aces would go on to become the stuff of legend. So, to kick off our list of legendary aces, coming in at number 5 is the top British ace of the war, Edward Mick Manick. And the reason that he makes this list is because during the war he managed to rack up a total of 61 air kills, most famously in the Newport 17 and the SE5A. What makes his record even more impressive, though, is that all of these victories were scored in only a 14-month period from May 1917. And that's because on the 26th of July 1918, at the age of 31, Manic was shot down by enemy ground fire while crossing the lines in France. Now, coming in next at number four is Ernst Udet, who was one of the youngest German fighter aces and one of the few top-scoring German aces to survive the war. And speaking of top-scoring German aces, well, at a total of 62 kills, his score was second only to the legendary Red Baron. He scored most of his early victories in the primitive Fokker E3 monoplane, but as his total grew, he was eventually invited to join the elite JG-1 squadron. And it was in this squadron that he flew various other types of advanced German aircraft, like the Fokker D7, alongside a number of other famous German aces, including the Baron himself. So, coming in next is Billy Bishop, who, although he was a Canadian, was the top scoring ace in the British RFC. And in his time in Europe, he scored a total of 72 kills in his iconic blue-nosed Newport 17s and SE5As. Bishop eventually survived the war, and later on in World War II, he became the director of the Royal Canadian Air Force in charge of recruitment. And still, to this day, he holds on to the record of being the top-scoring fighter ace from any British Commonwealth nation. Now, coming in next is the first French ace on this list, Rene Fonck, who with a total of 75 kills, only just takes the number two spot. But with that being said, although he just misses out on the number one place on this list, he was the highest scoring Allied pilot of the war. He began his flying career very early at the start of 1915, which is impressive considering unlike most aces, he was never actually wounded in all of that time. In fact, apparently only one bullet ever actually hit his aircraft, which was amazing at a time when the life expectancy of a pilot was barely a few weeks. Now, just before we get on to the number one ace on this list, I should give an honourable mention to Robert A. Little, the top scoring Australian ace of the war. And during his time in Europe, he scored a total of 47 air kills, flying with the British Royal Navy, first on SOP with triplanes and later SOP with camels. Also, I don't really think this list could be complete without mentioning the top-scoring American ace of the war, Eddie Rickenbacker. And the reason for this is because the US only entered the war in 1918, so it's pretty impressive that in such a short time, Rickenbacker was still able to rack up a total of 26 kills. But anyway, with that out of the way, finally coming in at number one is none other than the Red Baron himself, Manfred von Richthofen the son of Prussian nobility who would go down in history for scoring 80 victories from the seat of his Crimson Red fighters. Speaking of fighters, well, he's probably best known for flying the Fokker DR-1 triplane, but many people don't know he flew a number of other aircraft, including the Albatross D-5. And he flew these aircraft at the head of his brightly painted squadron, the Flying Circus, until he was shot down by enemy ground fire in April 1918. 
But anyway, guys, I guess that just about wraps up this list. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. And as always, if you like what you see, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out the links in the description below if you want to see any more of my videos or if you want to support my channel on Patreon. And until next time, see you later and have a good one.